Hi, it's Steve. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the dispenser arm on your side-by-side -side refrigerator. It's a really easy repair. Let me show you how we do it. Now, before we begin this repair, the first thing we'll need to do is to disconnect power to the appliance. So either pull your refrigerator far enough forward that you can unplug it, or locate the electrical panel, turn off the appropriate breaker, or remove the appropriate fuse. Now, once we've done that, our next step will be to remove the escutcheon and we can access that part. So we'll begin by removing the drip tray and we'll just set that aside. Now our next step is to remove this escutcheon and typically to do that, we're going to push down on the bottom while pulling out on it to release some plastic tabs. And we'll just lift up on it gently and that will release some tabs across the top. We'll pull it away enough that we can access the wire harness connector and we'll disconnect that. So we'll locate that wire harness connector and we'll need to release that locking tab. So simply lift up on that and separate the harness. You can now set that escutcheon aside now our next step will be to remove these two quarter inch hex head screws that secure that assembly to the housing. You can lift that away. Now next we'll release this two wire harness on the right hand side. Again, we'll need to release the locking tab first and then separate that harness. At this point, we can pivot that assembly up and out of the way. Now to hold it in place, we're just going to take some duct tape, wrap it around that, and adhere it to the front panel. And that will give us better access to changing the part. Now with that assembly tucked out of the way, our next step will be to remove this damper assembly from the little clip at the top. So simply pull that down through that opening. You can slide that off of the piston and just set that aside. If you wish, you can remove that piston from the assembly. And again, we'll just set that aside. Now our next step is to remove this clear shield from the paddle. It's held in place with a couple of plastic tabs on either side. So just reach in behind, locate that tab, and then pull it away from the paddle itself. Allow it to tilt forward, and you can remove the locating tab on the base of it, and then we'll just set that aside. Now our next step is to remove this spring clip that is positioned in between the two paddles. It's held in place with a quarter inch hex head screw, and there's a small fiber spacer that sits on top of that. And just set those aside. Now next we'll take that whole assembly, and we're gonna remove these two pivot points. We'll start with the one in the center, just simply lift that away. And then pull it towards the right to release the pivot on the left side. Now that we have those two lower pivot pins dislodged, we next need to pull that upper pin away from the housing. So just rotate it out from the left. Once we've freed up that side, we can pull that assembly out and discard it. Now, before we install the new dispenser arm, we're going to want to put a little bit of lubrication on these two pivot points. So we'll use a food safe lubricant and just put a little dab on each of those points. And now we need to fit that dispenser arm around the ice door. We'll fit it around the right hand side first. And around
around the left side and then pull it back to center it. We're now ready to position the two lower pivot points. We'll start with the left hand side first, fit it into that opening in the housing. And position the center one. And make sure the water dispenser paddle is lined up as well. And we're ready to put that retaining spring and spacer in place. So we'll take that spring clip, just place it in position. We'll keep the forked end up. And we'll start that screw to hold it in place. And next we'll take the little fiber spacer, slide it under the head of that screw, and then make sure the notched out portion on the bottom gets over that little stud. And then tighten the screw. Ensure that the water dispenser paddle returns freely. Now next we'll install the piston for that damper. There is a small hole on the end of that ice door bracket that we're going to fit that into. So we'll take the end of that piston lever, fit it through that opening, and then pivot it around. Next, we'll take the body for that plunger, fit the piston into the opening, and then slide the end of that into that bracket. Now next we'll need to replace that shield. So we'll locate that center tab, which will fit into the opening on the paddle itself. Simply insert that and pivot the guard up into position and then carefully fit each of those retaining tabs around the spine on that paddle until it locks in place. And now we're ready to put the assembly back in place. So first we'll reconnect that two wire harness. Make sure that the locking tab engages. And then be sure the harnesses will tuck in behind that. Now there are some slotted tabs on the top that we'll need to fit this housing into. So make sure that that pivots down into place and the screw holes line up. Now, before we install the retaining screws, we're just gonna to wanna to hold that assembly in place and we'll check the operation of that ice door. Simply depress the paddle and then make sure that that door closes securely. There may be some interference from that ribbon harness. So we'll need to make sure that that operates properly before we reassemble. Once we see that that door closes properly, we'll go ahead and install those two screws. Next, we'll take that escutcheon. We'll need to reconnect that wire harness. And again, we'll need to make sure that the locking tab engages. Now we'll line up the top portion of that escutcheon so that the three tabs fit into the three slotted openings. And while holding that flush, Make sure it presses down firmly. When it's in position, we can then snap the bottom of that escutcheon into place. Once that's secure, we'll put the drip tray into position. Now that we have the refrigerator back in place, you're ready to reconnect the power and your repair is complete.